Happy Friday, everybody. Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Donruss Optic Football brand new release, half case, six box, random team break, number one from JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. One and two are going to be from the same case. Obviously, one's going to be from a fresh case. There's also an early bird special here. The first 18 spots in this break have a chance at a bonus spot. So big thanks to the first 18 right here. Get you in this list here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a five. Eleven times. Name on top gets the bonus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And final time. After eleven, thanks. Congrats to Derek. Thanks for getting in. And congrats to you, Derek, is what I meant to say. After eleven times, you are the early bird. That catches the delicious, delicious early bird worm. A bonus spot in this half case break. Now let's grab everybody's names and do a different dice roll. And we'll randomize you a team. After 11 times, again, 6 and a 5, 11 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11th and final time. After 11 times, we've got Moody down to Mark. Let's go to a different tab here. There's Moody down to Mark. Six and a five, 11 times for all of the teams. All 32, one, two, good luck. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And 11th and final time. After 11, we've got the Philadelphia Eagles on top and the Redskins on the bottom. All right, Moody with the Eagles, Brian with my Raiders, Jason with the Colts, Michael with the Steelers, Andy with the Patriots, Derek with the Chiefs, AJ with the Falcons, Mark with the Cowboys, Vincent with the uh, Titans. William Roberts, you got the Cardinals. Big Boys 007 with the Bears. Chris with the Panthers. Mark with the Jets. Hans with the Packers. SKS with the Giants. Chris with the Dolphins. Mark with the Seahawks. Chris with the Bills. Hans with the Jags. Allen with the, the Ravens. Hans with the Browns. Thomas with the Lions. Hans with the Niners. Brian, last spot, Mojo, Saints. Vincent with the Vikings. Stephen Olsen with the Rams. Josh Proust with the Texans. Hans with the Broncos. Derek with your early bird spot, the Buccaneers. Adam with the Bengals, Anthony with the Chargers, and Mark with the Washington Redskins. All right, let's alphabetize by team. And it looks like Mark has the Jets up for trade. If anybody's interested in that. So while people are considering trades, let's consider which side we're going to do. Steven has jams up for trade? What kind of jams? I do love a good strawberry jam. Maybe maybe a uh, a marmalade, an orange marmalade. That's a good jam. He meant Rams, ladies and gentlemen. Rams for Jets, he says no. No, no pass on that. All right. So we're, we're going to select a die. One, two, three for the left side. Four, five, six for the right side. There you go. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the side we're going to do here. This we will save for next time, which will be RT2. It's kind of hard to write at that angle, but those are twos. By the way, get my knife right here. Looks like no trades. Rams, Panthers, maybe. I'm not sure if Chris Maxwell's in the room right now. Stephen Olson. 
Give it a couple more, more, more moments. Trade window going once. Trade window going twice. TWC, trade window closed. All right, let's print. Let's rip. Let's see what we get. Good luck. Looking for one autograph per box on average. A ton of parallels in each box. I did not notice any hot box like they usually have in baseball. At least not from the first picker team full case we did. All right, there's the final printout, hot off the presses. Thanks everyone for getting in. And let's see what we got. Good luck, everybody. Coming up after this will be the uh, will be Break King Baseball. That filled up. And then following that will be the double header, Bowman's best double header. And after that, I don't know what we're gonna do after that. We will probably by the time that double header ends, we probably will have about 45 minutes or so left in the broadcast. That leaves us with time to probably do another half case break of this if you want to. Unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to wait for tomorrow for the full case breaks. We can fit in some quick shorter breaks. We got some gold standard soccer on the site. We can do that. We got some series one hockey tins for you hockey fans out there. We can do some of that. I don't know if there's any other shorter breaks on the Oh, Origins basketball. That's only two number blocks away. And those two number blocks are halfway full. So hoops fans, we can do that. I'm watching some Dallas, uh, some Mavs Sixers right now. Dallas without Luka Doncic up by 10 on the Sixers with five minutes left. So we can do some hoops tonight. Ooh, would I see some green right there? All right, good luck, everybody. Got a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? We got Hakeem Butler to 99. We'll sleeve all of those and top all top load all those before they're sorted and shipped. Jarrett Stidham Hollow. And the green is going to be a bangle. Travion Williams. And that will be for Adam, who got randomized the bangles. Five out of five on that one. Adam, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Cody is guessing Drew Locke on the on the uh, redemption. Allen guessing a Raven. There's Byron Murphy, hollow, rookie hollow. Those have some strong value to it. A lot like the silver in prism. There's Darius Leonard to 150. There's Michael Thomas to 299. Julian Edelman, orange to 199. Ah, Aaron Andrews, apparently not affiliated with NFL. I guess she has to be, as a reporter, she has to be unbiased. This will be randomized to one person in the break. So we'll do the ran we'll randomize everybody's names in this. If there's like points that drop here, uh, that'll be number two on the randomizer, any other randomizer, so on and so forth. So there's. Miss Andrews over there, or no, she's married now. Mrs. Andrews, but not to an Andrews. I don't know what her. Anyway. Devin White to two ninety nine. All right, let's see who get whose guesses were right, or if any everybody was wrong. It's gonna be, although David Montgomery tends not to sign his cards either. It could be him. No, Baker Mayfield this time. Wow. 
1999 tribute autographs, Baker Mayfield. And that is for Hans and the Cleveland Browns. You know what the Browns should do? Browns should just pay whatever it takes to get a... Uh, who is, who is Baker's coach at Oklahoma? Just hire him. Lincoln Riley, right, Cody. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, hire Lincoln Riley. Get him to coach the Browns. If I'm the Browns, just pay pay Lincoln Riley. Whatever. Just <laughs> here's a blank contract, Lincoln. All we ask of you is just, you just work your magic with Baker Mayfield. Get him back on track. You think, uh, you think Tomlin stays in Pittsburgh? There were some rumors I felt like that, that, that Tomlin, Mike Tomlin was getting his head turned by some other organizations, which he shot down right away. I remember this is like a couple months back, but he kind of shot down right away. But I wonder if, if, I don't know, is he ready for a new challenge? Maybe he doesn't want to do a rebuild, but it seems like he's. With his team, with the Steelers being injured so much this season, he squeezed out some pretty incredible. He could be coach of the year. He's done incredible things with that that team, squeezing every ounce of ability out of these youngsters and unproven players and third string quarterbacks and whatnot. I wonder if he's gonna come. I mean, if he's going to continue, or if maybe he looks elsewhere. I don't know where he is at in his life right now but I don't know that could be that could be an interesting coach name Cam's coach Ron Rivera he's going to get hired somewhere I would I would think there's Rock Yassin and there's my guy Cleveland Farrell 12 out of 60 Raiders that's going to be for Brian Langley Raiders also dealing with a lot of injuries but He's had a pretty good season. There's TJ Watt. There is Richard Sherman, blue to 150. There's Devontae Adams, orange to 199. Cleland Farrell again to 299. Now Miles Boykin, rated rookie to 299. Irv Smith Jr. for the Vikings. Rated rookie hollow. That'll go to Vince. Jimmy Garoppolo to 99. Richard Sherman again to 299. And we got Winfrey back there. Alright, next box.
Got Mavs up on the Sixers, 110 to 95. Three minutes left in the fourth. And everyone thought no Luka Doncic, and now the, the Mavs would struggle, but no. I guess they realize they've got a pretty good team even without Doncic. That kind of makes that team scary. They're still playing well without Doncic. And Porzingis nailing shots. That's going to be a dangerous team. Porzingis looks healthy, too. You know, there's got to be a Porzingis Doncic dual autograph in the works, right? For like 2019, 2020 Immaculate Basketball or something like that. Which will probably be another 10 months or so, but still. All right. Sean Gary, rated rookie, hollow. Travis Kelsey, hollow. Obviously, that's a parallel, so that'll ship. That's not a veteran common. Out of 299, Mike Evans. Ooh, Brian Peebles reporting that Bowman Chrome Draft Adley Rushman 1 of 1 Super Fractor is on eBay. Two days left to bid, and the current is $17,000, and the card's in Japan. Wow. There's Saquon Hampton to $299. Dexter Lawrence, 12 out of 50. What do you think that ends at, you guys? <laughs> Mythical Adrian Peterson, Tyree Jackson. What's the closing price on that, you think? Sterling Shepard to 199 And 88 out of 99, Damian Harris, rated rookie autograph. That's for the Patriots. That's going to go to Andy. Miles Boykin, rated rookie to 150 Jarrett Stidham, rated rookie to 199. All right, we are halfway through this break, folks. We've got about another about another 20 minutes to go, maybe a little bit less than that. Rebels thinking 30 ends at 30. I was gonna say like 20, but 30 that'd be great. It's good for the hobby. Tiggs, what's going on, Bill? How, how do you feel about blockchain tech that Panini is showcasing? This is the first time hearing of it. Tell me. Tell me more. Like, are they blockchain? Are like... Cryptocurrency? Is that what we're talking about? Oh, virtual cards? Um, I mean, I think any kind of virtual card has, I feel like ha is like a holy grail for for card companies because pe people think that uh, that's where they that's I don't know like they're trying to project 10 15 20 years later in the future but I think it just doesn't I don't know I think it's just it'll it'll just be there as a, I can't see it ever taking a significant market share over actual trading cards 
I think people like the tangibleness of these cards too much. At least in our lifetime, I don't see it taking over market share. You know, because I think you, I think people, I think maybe people will collect it just to, just for, just for fun. Just maybe there'll be a game element attached to it. That could be pretty fun, you know, like some prize element to it. But in terms of actually like trading or, 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 or like collecting, I can't imagine serious collectors really saying, oh, I'm going to pay Adley Rushman one of one virtual card. Like what, what would, what would we do with that? You know? And I think, you know, you look at a lot of the nice Josh Jacobs hollow. I think a lot of the, the, a lot of the kids that come into our shop, you know, even the younger generation definitely enjoys the tangibleness of, of trading cards. I mean, is Adam Thielen? I know, I know Madden Ultimate Team had some sort of pack opening element where you could like rip open a pack and get like a 99 rated Keenan Allen. Like if you can tie it into a game, I think that makes a little bit more sense. There's Joe Flacco to 150, but but I don't know if it'll it'll really gain any serious traction. Yeah, I could see like. Instant trades around the world would be fun, but but I don't think there'd be instant trades of like thousand dollar cards, right? Thirty four out of fifty. The second some little kid gets scammed out of a a bad trade, is is where is where people will stop doing it or will shut it down or something like that. Thirty four out of fifty, Irv Smith Jr. Limited Eclipse is saying each digital card oh, is accompanied by a physical card that mirrors the digital asset and includes an autograph of the respective player. In some cases, will incorporate a piece of memorabilia. Huh. Now that's interesting. Yeah, if that's the case, then I think that's a cool idea. Earth Smith Jr. goes to Vince and the Vikings, by the way. So, for example, Vince actually has this physical card, but maybe, but maybe he'd have a digital version of it that he can show off to his friends or something. I guess he could take a picture of it, but, but I guess if it's a special set, that could be interesting. Yeah, I think however they do digital assets, I think ultimately you still have to tie it to physical cards somehow to make to make that work. It'd have to be a blend. I don't think it could just purely be digital. Chris Maxwell saying if Bill Gates paid millions for the digital rights to the Mona Lisa and other, you never know. Maybe it'd be cool to own an image. Maybe. But I think I think it'll take it'll probably take a little bit of development before that catches on to you know Donner's Optic Football. I like that they're thinking about it though. Eventually, eventually they'll 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 hit on something. All the companies will will figure something out. We'll find a way to really make kind of tie together the digital world and and cards. I think one thing that I always had a sort of a philosophical issue with is like how do you display your cards? How do you show these off to like your friends short of making them go through your photo album in your phone and saying, look at this card that I have, look at this card that I have, look at this card that I have, you know what I mean? Or you have to drag out your nice graded cards, your collection out, you know, and then have your friends is like, you know, sticky fingers all over them, their fingerprint. You don't want that. So, but how do you, where, where's our, where's our binder? 
these days? You know, where's our binder of baseball cards that we can show off to our friends? Maybe that's in a in a in a tops or upper deck or Panini app or something like that, where you have where you have a digital storage. Yeah, that's kind of what we're getting into. Where you can have, but for like everything, imagine for like for. Because how do I, how do you if I'm saying Nick, show me your collection? Well, it's a hassle. You're like, oh, let me wheel it out of my storage unit, wheel all million cards out of my storage unit, show you all my amazing stuff. And that becomes a hassle. But if there's a digital way or an app or something where you can share with your friends and you can, there's social media to it, right? So you can socially network with your friends and say, hey, here's what I have, here's my collection. You can browse around. See, I think, I think that kind of future, like information storage, basically, data storage, is essentially what it comes down to. If there's a better way to, to store and catalog what you have, I think that'd be pretty cool. There's Trace McSorley to two ninety nine. Right, yeah, your phone could be like a binder. Yeah, if every card has like a QR code or something like that, you can scan all these in and you can be like, boom, that's my collection, that's what I have, and it goes onto your digital binder or whatever. There's Saquon Hampton. I think something like that would be really cool. No, it's all good. What did the kid? Would the kid want anything cool? Yeah, he's, he's Miles super Boykin. Sharp. Is he? Yeah. Future Breaker, Future Jaspi Breaker. He might be. He might be his own breaker and compete. With wow, him. that good. Nine out of twenty-five. Just don't let him know that there's com there's like others that they can do this. Yeah. Just say we're only, we're the only ones that do this. Yeah, you got DeAndre Walker to one ninety-nine. Hire him young. Yeah, just be like, what? No one else does this. No, you can't do this yourself. And pop. Ten? This autograph is guaranteed by Panini America. Nice. This is a random break too. Wow. Elite Series Aaron Rodgers. Woo! Hans got randomized the Packers. This optic, I'm telling you. It's it's actually sharp. It's actually sharp. pretty sharp this year, ladies and gentlemen. One out of ten, the first one ever made. That's a picture. Yeah, I, oh, I forgot. Speaking of which, I forgot to. No, I did take a picture of the Kyler. Kyler Murray. Wait, I don't think I did. Send it to me. At a 199, Tyler Lockett. I don't know, we'll find out. Ty Johnson Hollow. January 25th, opening grand opening party event. Zay Jones to 150. That's the final Saturday of the uh, of January. If you want to join us, if you're in town, Sean maybe. Maybe get a Dodger. Maybe John McCall, we're maybe. Discussion with a Dodger. Whoa! Kurt Do Dodger right now. Whoa! Sean wouldn't come then. Well, maybe. Just protest. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a, you know, Anthony Rendon. Get Anthony <laughs> Rendon? That would be huge. <laughs> I don't know if a guy who just signed 200 million wants to do that, but maybe. All right, and last yeah, box. Know. Thank you, Nick. Anthony Rendon, is he going to, you know? I mean, he's, he's looking for a new house. Maybe he wants to know yeah. the, the the community. Steal some Dodgers fans. Is that a 199, Cleveland Pharrell? I'd be like, why didn't you sign with the Dodgers, bro? These are this break? Correct, yes. This current break right now. Kirk Cousins to 50. Saquon, MVP Mitch, Kid Reporters, Lamar Jackson to 299, and two out of five, another Green Bay Packer. Wow. That's another one for Hans. What I do, he stole that from me. Dexter Williams, two out of five, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Nice one, Hans. There's Dak Prescott. I saw a report where there was just like 
his shoulder will be fine unless he gets tackled in a very specific way and lands on his shoulder. So you don't think they'll be doing that? And I was just like, oh, then you've just told the Eagles exactly what they need to do. I think like, who's on the... Cox. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Fletcher Cox just <laughs> bursting through the line. And specifically doing that. Yeah, that's not good. Out of 150, Brandon Cooks. Unless it's the other shoulder and they want people to Oh, I see. Okay, all right. Hollow, Terry but McLaurin. Jason Garrett that smart? I don't know. I don't know. He'll just, he'll just keep yeah, running. Jason Garrett was in the Belichick Saban film. It just almost threw up. <laughs> Did it he blow your mind? Disgust. And, I mean, I get he coached with him, but still. He coached with Saban on the Dolphins. It was Larry Fitzgerald. It's like, no wonder Saban failed in the NFL. <laughs> He had Garrett on as his, what, his OC? Yeah, something. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I, Aaron Andrews, how could I forget about you? We have the autographed version here at the Jazz Ooh, if you're an Aaron Andrews fan. Sports card shop. We just have to make sure that one guy is not here. It's 25 bucks. Make sure to, uh, I'm just saying. We just have to make sure that one guy who stalked Aaron Andrews and has a restraining order can't come into the shop. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Name on top gets the Aaron Andrews four and a three, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time after seven. It's Andy. Andy, you get the uh, extra Aaron Andrews fans of the game card. So there you go. Thanks, everyone, for watching. This is Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.